Okay, you guys, in today's video, we are going to be doing a makeup unhaul. If you guys know, I am all into eliminating waste and getting rid of things that do not serve me anymore and trying to, I guess, create more of like capsule things like things that I'm going to want over time and not just stuff that I want in the moment so this is a makeup unhaul as I try to get my makeup collection under control but first today video is sponsored by Audible. Audible is a place where you can listen to books over all different types of genres. You can listen to celebrity memoirs, fiction, autobiographies, all of those things that you want to read. I know a lot of people like to listen to nonfiction on Audible because it's just easier to get through and it's a lot more fun. Audible makes that easy for you. This month I have been listening to Will by Will Smith and when I tell you it has been so much fun. That book is so good and it's amazing on audiobook. Oh my gosh that's what I have been listening to this month. Audible has this thing called Audible Originals where you can discover things things from experts, things from celebrities, and all different types of podcasts, stuff like that, that you may not know Audible has. But yes, go to Audible, look at their originals, and learn things from experts, celebrities, and stuff like that. When you join Audible, you get one free credit every month. I am serious about my free credit. I literally go in and I already know what I am going to buy with my one free credit. So you go in and you can pick any book that you want. They have old releases, new releases, bestsellers. Go in and use your one free credit that you get every month on those things. I love it. If I know a new book is coming, going, coming out, I go on Audible and I pick up the audio book because I just, I need to, I need it, I need it, I need it. And I, I'm, I'm a stickler about my one credit. It's something I look forward to every single month. With a membership, you can listen to audio books you can listen to audible originals you can listen to podcasts they have sleep regimens all of that so when you become an audible member i would go in and i would really look into what audible has to offer for you as a member like i said those podcasts earlier those audible originals early go in there and look at those because they're great. My favorite thing about the Audible app is the app itself. It is so easy to navigate. It is so easy to find where you are looking for, to press play on what you were looking for, to go back and listen to what you were looking for. That's what I love about it. The accessibility of it is so easy. You go in there and you know exactly what you're looking for. If you put your audio book down and want to pick it back up, it picks off right where you left off. That is what I love the most. The app itself, the interface of Audible the app. So if you are a new member, new members can try Audible for 30 days free. Go to audible.com slash Kenya or text Kenya to 500-500 and start your 30 day free trial of Audible. Audible, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video and let's get into the unhaul. Okay, you guys, it's time for the makeup unhaul. Okay. If you do not follow me over on Patreon, number one, you're a loser. And number two, since we're not name calling, you should. And then thirdly, you would not know that I did a makeup unhaul at the top of the year over on Patreon. And that's when I actually took you guys into my makeup drawers and we went inside and we decided what can stay and what can go. And I got rid of, I would say like 30% of my makeup collection and this is where I'm about to attempt to get rid of like another like 20% of it because I actually got rid of a bunch of makeup I gave it all to my little sister most of it I didn't have to throw away some stuff which is old and did have to get thrown away but most of it and most of this stuff is just gonna go to my sister and I'm gonna see you what she wants from it but you would know I am trying to like make my makeup collection as small as possible because we are in July and I would say I have worn makeup 10 times this entire year and the 10 times have been on camera I just outside of like being on YouTube I don't put on makeup that often number one I don't really go anywhere and then even if I'm traveling I still don't put on makeup I find it to be more of a burden than anything else I don't know like guess I'm just not an it girl anymore <laughs> like I just don't put on makeup that often so a lot of times the makeup just sits in my drawer and the thing is it's not that I want to stop buying makeup because I've been good in the last two years of not really buying makeup 
makeup I buy makeup like one like when there's like a sale like when Sephora has a sale I'll buy makeup but I really don't like just go in Sephora and buy things more so I go in there to get the sunscreen that I like which is Fenty Beauty and like Olaplex that's really the only two times I go in Sephora to get Olaplex and Fenty Beauty, Beauty Hydro Visor but other than that I don't go in there but I've been not buying makeup because I feel like I have too much makeup and it stopped me from buying things that I really want to buy that have come out because I'm just like I have too much makeup so it's like Kenya you wouldn't feel that way and you'd be able to buy some more stuff if you got rid of the stuff that you already have so I'm getting rid of the stuff so the past six months I have gone through and I'm like if I haven't worn it it can go I just want a collection of makeup where I, at any given point I will use any product and that's just these products I have just not touched I have not wanted to touch so we are going to start with NARS because I have a question I'm gonna go through the comments and I'm gonna hear what you guys opinion on this is so I have four of the main NARS foundations. I have four of them. I do all of my foundations in the exact same color, which is New Caledonia. I don't think NARS has my exact shade. I don't think NARS has most people's exact shade. Every time I see someone use a NARS product who is a black girl, it is always off in some way. Either it's too dark or it's too light. I don't think anyone, anyone really has their exact shade in a NARS like foundation I think we all just make it work we make it do what it gotta do so I have these now I don't need all of these but I have I have them all each for a reason so I already unhauled this little thing once but then I was quickly about to run out of the door and I wanted to do a quick beat and I used this like a year ago and I put it on my face and it gave like I'm so sorry it gave and so I kept it but I honestly have not used it since it gave that one time so I'm just like should I keep it should I not so we have that and then we have sheer glow I'm gonna be honest I have never had a good face with sheer glow I've used this like three times I bought it at the end of last year I think I bought it for in a video maybe I hauled it for y'all one time I don't know but I bought this and I've never given a face but I paid so much money for it this is expensive and then I bought the pump because that's how much I really thought it was gonna give but like it's honestly never gave so then I have that and then I have the one that has given the most to me and that is the what was this one called do y'all remember oh the natural radiant long wear foundation a lot of people did not like this one but I stand alone and I'm finding that I like this one a lot so this has given me the most looks over the years really only like a year and a half two years but this has given me the most so I like this one and then do y'all remember makeup like I feel like uh because a lot of people don't talk about makeup and the most of the people doing makeup stuff right now is like people showing off new things so a lot of people aren't talking really about their staples anymore I is, is that what we're feeling like in the makeup community I feel like if you go on like TikTok and see the girls who are talking about makeup most people are trying out the new stuff and being like is this a new product but no one's really talking about because maybe TikTok is such a quick platform the videos are so short no one's talking about like stuff like that's a staple to them but this NARS one came out this was called the light reflecting foundation and everyone ranted and raved about this I don't hear people talking about it anymore I don't know what that means but did I ever try okay I definitely did try it because it has a little bit of makeup around it but I don't remember it I do not want or need all of these so the one I know I'm definitely going to say adios and give to my little sister sheer glow it, it hurts me to say this it hurts my I just think of my old self when I could not afford like companies like NARS like I never thought there would be a day where I would own four NARS foundation so when I say I'm getting rid of sheer glow it hurts my little broke spirit of yesterday because I just knew how much I used to want this foundation when I didn't have no money but it just don't work for me I don't reach for it I don't and then I don't experiment enough with makeup to like pick it back up like to be like oh I'll try it out I know I won't I don't wear makeup I wear makeup maybe once a month maybe once a month sometimes twice so like and I'm always gonna go back to the Charlotte Tillsbury airbrush air whatever it's called because that's the best foundation on the market if you ask me 
So sheer glow can go even though it hurts me so much and I paid for the pump but my little sister will enjoy that. I think these two things I kind of feel like maybe be doing the same thing. I don't know. I don't remember this one. I'm going to get rid of this one. Like it was fun. I don't love the tube even though this tube is like perfect I think for traveling but I just told you I don't really travel with makeup all that much. So I'm gonna get rid of the Tubi. I'm gonna get rid of the Tubi and I'm gonna keep these two because I like this one a lot. Like this was not, I was not getting rid of this. I knew it. And then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna just keep this one. And the other two can go, like I'm fine with that. So these two stay. So we keep that and these can go. The next thing I'm going to be getting rid of is these like, NYX little like butter glosses. Do y'all remember these? I recently like repurchased these. I think these are on like sale. Like they were like, give, I don't know. But I repurchased these literally like last year sometime for no apparent reason. And it's like, why did I do that? Why did, I? these things were never good. Like it, this was more like balling on a budget type of makeup. Like I used to wear these in college. Like I literally remember going to like Darty's and wearing these like, <laughs> back in my like hitting the scene days it was definitely baddie on a budget in 2015 2016 but like me today would never I'd rather wear nothing on my lips than wear these on my lips it's just they're not they weren't bad products if you still use these like if I had to I would like throw these in my car but I have so many things that I already throw in my car to the point where it's like Kenya now you just got the same stuff that was in your house in your car now and it's ridiculous so like these can go but like I we had good times we've had good time these are more like even though these aren't the same ones I had in college they're actually not even dry out like I could still use this even though these aren't the same ones I had in college like this was good like this you can still get some wear out of this I'm just not I'm just simply not I'm not in that era anymore so these are going to go the next thing that hurts we're gonna do another thing I just did with NARS with Fenty Beauty so I love the original Fenty Beauty foundation that's another place where I stand alone I love the original Fenty Beauty foundation I think that is one of the best foundations on the market it's my second favorite foundation outside of Charlotte Tillsbury so then Fenty Beauty launched three more foundations they also have their tint that I like that I that's usually actually what I'll do most days is I'll just I'll put on some primer some milk primer and then I'll put the little tint that she came out with on my like cheeks because that's where I have dark spots and baby I will put that in and I'll walk out the door but I do have two other Fenty Beauty uh foundations that she came out with I have the um I have the soft matte powder foundation and I have this isn't this isn't even open that shows you how wasteful I am um but let's start with it I thought powder foundation was going to be all the rage after this came out and it really wasn't like Kenya I did not see into the future word to that so Raven when it came to that one because like I don't even use this and T more but I like this I like this I just don't see the reason to use a powder foundation not only do I like this when I used to wear this in videos it would be the like the comments will always gas me up and be like what foundation are you wearing but I have not reached for this I remember the last time I wore this I wasn't even living in my I didn't even have my house then I was I remember I was in my apartment the last time I put this on my damn face and a lot of people use this for like wigs to get their wigs and stuff to blend I don't wear wigs anymore so there's that I don't need it for that and it's just like it's nice I always see it and it's nice to have the option to have it but when we're here trying to make something have a collection of things I guess what I'm trying not to have is the collection like we need to remove the word collection from my vocabulary I just want to have my makeup products that I use and that's it so when we're talking about that is this just something that I would use? I like the idea of the versatility to be able to step into powder when I want to. Especially if you think about the fact that I do like the little tinted, the tinted one uh, foundation. Like she little has the tinted moisturizer, whatever they call that. And like I could set this with that. But then I also have Sephora Michael Smooth. So why do I need that? This is getting rid of. I think I'm getting rid of that. But if I'm, I could keep this and get rid of this so after 
the original foundation launch from Fenty Beauty. She came out with the hydrated one because a lot of people thought the original foundation was too matte. I am an oily girl and even I didn't think it was too matte. So I don't know what y'all was talking about. I bought the original. I bought this little hydrating one, sorry. And then I bought it in the wrong shade and I gave it to my little sister because my little sister is lighter than me. And so I read this one on sale and I repurchased it in my actual shade, which is 440 if you want to know. I'm 440. And so I repurchased it and that was this. That's why it's still in the box. This was months ago. Months and months ago. But I haven't used it. And now I really want to use it. This was tucked all the way back in my drawer. So I've literally forgot I own this. I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this. I believe it's going to work for me. Did it work for me the first time? No. It did not work for me the first time and it was just the wrong shade so I just stopped trying. But I want to see, I want to see. A lot of people like this one and every time I see someone use it, it looks so good on their skin. But every, anything that looks good on other people's skin is going to look terrible on mine and I don't know why. I'm keeping this. I'm getting rid of this. I just don't wear it and it ain't no point to drag out something like that. So I've kept three foundations. It's getting ridiculous but like... I'm getting, I'm I'm a, I'm a like get this video back on track when I get rid of something else. Matte Fix Plus, I keep Matte Fix Plus around because I believe there's a world in which I'm going to be a Matte Fix Plus girl. This is another thing that like back broke Kenya never thought I'd be able to spend money on Matte Fix Plus because I just thought back in the day all the it girlies use Matte Fix Plus and I just thought they were such bad bitches and so I bought it and like I've owned this for years and I don't use it so like why is it here I'm gonna get rid of it I'm gonna get rid of it I don't even know what Matte Fix Plus is really about so then the hue to beauty y'all remember when I was talking to you guys about possibly unhauling this and then I did it I haven't used it I haven't I don't even know what this is for this is the hue to beauty water jelly hydrating primer more than a primer it's just literally a greasy mess not even greasy it's just like it's watery I don't even know what this is for I don't even know what it was for if you want to convince me to buy something give me something that looks like a hydrating primer as a dry girl that gets me every single time and so I purchased this but for no reason so I'm actually gonna finally get rid of this and I don't feel bad that's a thing about me sometimes I just have to wait things out like I just have to wait things out and I will come to the right decision I've learned that about myself especially when it comes to like recently like decorating my house for the past year coming up with ideas for like light fixtures for my house and all of that stuff like at first I like I can't figure it out I, I say the most ridiculous idea it's just like we should do this I'm like we should do this da 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 and it's so dumb it's such a terrible idea and then mo old Kenya would like go with the idea and not think on it I'd be like I'm right I one thing about me I am very decisive like I can make a decision and so I'll be like let's go with this and I don't think it through but new me knows just give me time I will always come to the decision that makes the most sense so like even I believe some of this stuff that I told you I was gonna keep I should probably get rid of it but give me time give me about three months I will come to the right decision I just have to you got to give me time to get to the decision that makes the most sense like okay so like I have finally come to the decision. It took a year, but I finally came to the decision that this is useless. This is useless. And it, I don't feel anything anymore. Let's rag on Fenty Beauty a little bit more. <laughs> Do y'all remember when she came out with these um, Stunna lip paints? I have the red one and I'm going to keep the red one because I believe there's a time and a place for this one. But this brown one, I thought I was going to like use as a lip liner, but this that just takes a little bit too much work. Like there's some products that I own that I'm like, I know exactly how to use this product and get it out of it. Like this is the perfect lip line color for a girl in my shade. But the work that would take, I would have to get this out put it on as a lip liner wait for it to dry then come in with my other lip color and but i could have used a pencil i could have used a pencil and been out the door like i'm not doing all that so this is going to go because that's literally the only reason why i bought it and i don't use it for that reason so it's separated at this point because that's how much i don't use it i still have the red one and i'm going to use it the last fenty beauty product do y'all remember when she came out with these like bullets these like glass these like 
uh okay why did i call them like bullets these slip and shines whatever these things were came in amazing colors i love the color this is my perfect like nudie shade but they don't stay on your lip and there's a reason why they're called slip and shines because they literally slip and shine like your lips are just like it's a mess it's a mess it's a mess it's a mess it's a mess, it's a mess. and I don't want to be a mess anymore. I don't want to be a mess anymore. I stopped using this. I found better. The better that I found is Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury, you guys, is my favorite brand. Do you guys want to know what my top two favorite brands in Sephora are? Rare Beauty and Charlotte Tilbury. Fenty Beauty is a is it's in a good solid third. I always check to see what Fenty Beauty has, but those are really the only three brands I buy from. And then I'm always check for NARS complexion products. Those are really the only four brands I buy anything from. Like the newer things, I check to see what they doing but so charlotte tilbury pillow talk which the thing is maybe i shouldn't get rid of this charlotte tilbury pillow talk be out of stock everywhere everywhere i don't know what that is about but this can go the point of saying that is this is go okay so milani i'm getting rid of the only two milani products i've ever owned i did used to own the milani foundation i got rid of that years ago because of the bullshit they did with Amber Heard. That little bullshit they pulled on TikTok with Amber Heard, Johnny Depp. We don't do that around here. We don't do that around here. We don't do that around here. So Milani can go to hell. Like, I'm just so sorry. Milani can go to hell. Like, they're has been. They're old. Who the fuck cares about Milani anymore? And so I'm gonna, I didn't even use this. This literally has no, like, literally I could return this to the store and they be none the wiser. I didn't even use it. Um, this Milani concealer is a beautiful color, but I really didn't use it that much. And so she's not going to be missed. She's not going to be missed. You did all of that to still be in last Milani. Mm, how does it feel to play stupid games and win a dumbass fucking prize? Okay, so then we're going to move on. I have some rare beauty things I'm going to get rid of. No shade to rare beauty because like I said, like I said, it's my second favorite brand. But, but I try literally everything from rare beauty. And so like I know what works and I know what don't work. Like rare beauty has so many things from rare beauty that do work. Some new things from rare beauty that I think y'all should try out. I tried their primer. Amazing. Uh, y'all know I love their bronzer. I think the color is... If you don't like that like that like deep rich bronzer color then you're not one of my people so maybe you shouldn't but if you like looking like deep and rich that it's for you like that like color that pigment that like oh I love it and then I also saw, fat, used their setting powder and I love it their setting powder also blew me away okay but the things that did not blow me away first is this beautiful little what were these even called I don't even know I saw it at Sephora one day and thought this would be the cutest little thing to keep in my car but you know what y'all I used it once I used it once and then it got dirty and then I didn't want to use it again and so it's gonna go it's gonna go next thing I've been holding off on getting rid of the rare beauty concealer because I actually did like it I never use it I like the color but I never use it I have to I don't have too many concealers it's just the concealers that I have I use Fenty Beauty born this way and there's one more that I use and so like I use the one I use and I don't use the I just I have no reason to have multiple concealers from multiple brands like it's just not necessary and then the last rare beauty product i'm going to get rid of you guys know i love these this hurts me to get rid of because you guys know i think this is one of the best products like ever made like cultural reset right here this is too light this is just too light i like the other two colors that i own a lot more than this one i never use it or i keep trying to use it thinking it's gonna work one day and it's just too light like it doesn't give me the look that i like blush to give me someone this would be perfect for my sister because i keep telling y'all my sister's lighter than me so this would be perfect for her but for me it's just a no it's just a no for me so i'm gonna get rid of that next we're gonna get rid of like old old product that i just don't think i need anymore fiona styles do you guys remember fiona styles this i've had this since college and i've kept it for nostalgia reasons because i used to always use this concealer like when i thought i was like on the hose neck when i thought it was time to step on the girl's necks 
I use this and it's just old and you know what I don't need you know, I don't need to keep things around for nostalgia I have room that's the thing with me I feel like if I have room I might as well do it but like eventually once I really once I get my makeup to collection to only like two drawers and I'm really on the girl's neck like watch out watch out then I can use my drawers for other stuff other stuff because I only use two hair products I have some styling tools I have like I don't even have a lot of like personal care stuff anymore like look at me changing the next thing that's just like has run its course is this Denisa Myricks uh I don't even know what this is but now it's all over me and I'm even more pissed off now it just gets dirty really easily I actually liked it as a product it was so easy it's a bronzer it's just not the color I usually like my bronzer and I don't like bronzers that appear on my skin cool tone it feels more like a contour than it does a bronzer and I don't like to contour like even though I got a nice little chubby face I just don't like to contour anyways um it gets dirty it gets everywhere I literally open it up and now it's all over me and so I just it's a good product though if you do have been looking to get into this product it is a really good product it blends out like a dream but it's just not the color I like to use for this and it's messy to me I'm messy so like <laughs> I'm messy but I'm also messy like I, I make a mess everywhere so like that's just not a product I need to keep around if I want to keep my clothes clean okay last three things that we're going to get rid of are all hourglass hourglass to me we've run our course this relationship has come to an end like did we even have good times we had lukewarm times like we what we never really was like this like you know just this hot and bothered couple we had lukewarm times but it's time to say bye to hourglass these are the last three hourglass products that i even own and now i think my relationship with hourglass is officially done which is good because hourglass is expensive anyway but like unless somebody really say hourglass is beating down the block me and hourglass are going to say goodbye to each other the first thing it takes is getting rid of this the girlies never want to get rid of this because number one we all paid an arm and a leg for it this is the pre the uh setting powder we all paid an arm and a leg for the packaging is really really cute but the problem and the powder ain't even that bad the power powder is good the problem that everyone always said is the packaging. had they changed this packaging i bought this like a year two years ago a year and a half ago had they changed the packaging on this is the packaging any different are, are they dying on this hill that we want this fucking packaging i do not know let's be clear the the rare beauty i don't like i don't love the packaging for that uh setting powder either but like i like the setting powder a lot i don't reach for this i'm sorry i'm never gonna let laura mercier go when it comes to setting powder so what am i doing with this i'm finally going to be able to say bye to this like i said it may take me a while but i eventually get to the decision that makes the most sense and it took me a long time to come to the decision about this i remember when i bought this i feel like i bought this in like a vlogmas video i did over on my patreon me and my patreon have been around a while we have been a while we have been around a while because i think i literally bought this in a vlogmas video before the pandemic i don't know but i can finally say bye to this and it feels oh so good bye bye i'm gonna give all this to my sister that's the thing most of my sister's gonna love having all this stuff like if i was my sister age and somebody gave me this stuff i would be like girl i'll take it and then like i said i'm ending my relationship with hourglass and that means getting rid of these sticks getting rid of these sticks i had the stick and, and sable which was always too light for me then i had the stick and walnut which is always too red for me i don't know i think it was the perfect it was a good complexion it was just too the wrong undertone it was too red for me i never reached for these things even though these are, do have a great finish if you are able to find this in what you want and then i want it to be an it girl so bad that's what the problem happens to me i be wanting to be like the it girls and it's like it's not happening i don't use stick foundation i do not use stick foundation like i never do i never I never use stick foundations. I don't like stick foundations. Like, it, they give me crusty. They give me dry. And so, like, why did I ever buy these? And I bought two of these, which means I paid almost $100, if not $100. Waste of money. My sister won't be able to use walk chestnut. It's not walnut. It's chestnut. Won't be able to use chestnut, but she will be able to use sable. So, 
I'll give that to her. Maybe she'll use chestnut for like contour. I don't know what the hell she do. Anyways, that's the end of this one. Audible, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. And that is the makeup unhaul. All of this, I only ended up keeping two, three things. I am going to keep these three things and put them back in the drawer, but everything else can go. I didn't really do um, makeup palettes, like eyeshadow palettes, because I don't really have much eyeshadow palettes anymore. Like, I've never been an eyeshadow girly. I've never been good at eyeshadow, so it's just no, like, I don't keep many eyeshadow palettes. Like, they just don't, they don't take up that much space. So, anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. 